What's up, dudes and dudes to the Uranus? My name is Anthony. We are back here for some more Astroneer, the final frontier. Welcome to the moon. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. So I've been busy, but before we get started with that, we very much appreciate if you would hit that like button. Helps me out more than you know. Now, without further ado, uh, if you didn't check out the last episode already, we ended up flying over to the moon, and so far it seems a little bit underwhelming. Very, very cool that we do get to experience a new type of terrain and everything like that but unfortunately there doesn't seem to be any new research technologies or anything like that so there was this cave right over here that i ended up going into and we explored a little bit of it i explored the rest of it off camera eventually it came to a dead end which had this unknown research thing and then all of these plants which we're gonna end up doing today uh hopefully have enough power to actually do that because i do have a couple extra batteries and Honestly speaking, I've kind of been setting up so that we can actually go off world to another planet already. New research, here we go. Come on, give me something new. Is it gonna be something new or is it just gonna be? Oh, there you go, hashtag confirmed. So that means there is no point in the moon, unfortunately, because we've already got everything. I, I kind of had a suspicion of that. Uh, I was kind of worried that when we ended up coming to this planet, it was just gonna be all the same old stuff that we already ended up having because there's no new researching technologies just yet, which is very unfortunate. Whatever, it's just kind of how, uh, you know, that's just kind of how it goes right now. We're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, but I do want to try and at least on camera with all of you before I start getting things prepared, uh, I do want to head off world. Uh, not off world. I mean, I, I do want to head around the whole planet, like kind of in a big circle, you know, before we end up actually uh, getting out of here. So we do have enough extra stuff here to build another habitat because we are definitely going to check out another planet today. But uh, let me just research the rest of these nodes right here and get things a little bit more in order and then uh, then we'll kind of see if we can actually go around the entire moon today. Well, you know what, folks? At the least, this planet, uh, you know, despite the fact that we can't really research anything new, it is insane for resources just because of all of the things that we keep uh, researching and they actually end up giving us more and more resources, you know? Like, we're already almost full on fuel once again, uh, which is crazy, actually, come to think of it. Can I take this last one and throw it onto our storage? Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then I took our solar panels. Uh, this thing's got a whole stack of coal, uh, not to mention these two extra slots right here, which I might end up using for something, not exactly sure. I would love it if we could actually take uh, like a battery or uh, something that we wouldn't have to then make on the other planet but we've got enough lithium that technically speaking it's more worthwhile to take the raw resource than it is to take everything else so anyways let's let's start heading out and unfortunately, sorry to say, this plant was extremely short-lived. We're not gonna experience uh, any more of it, uh, any more of the caving or anything like that. But at the least, uh, we can kind of start heading out. Oh, I see it's like a crater, like from the moon. That's pretty cool. Uh, and hopefully see whether or not we can go full circle around this planet. I didn't end up packing enough compound to actually give us some more tethers, unfortunately. So we're pro I'm probably going to have to go uh, all the way back to home base there off camera uh, and kind of see what's what. Why did it actually run out of power once we came this far out? Oh, that's kind of weird. So these, these tethers over here ended up glitching out and not connecting for some reason, even though they visually did just two seconds ago. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna keep heading out, and if we find anything interesting, I'll definitely let you know. I mean, at the least, we do get a pretty beautiful, even if low poly view, of seeing the other planet on the horizon, right? And it's actually rotating too, you can see the clouds of where our first base is, so that's pretty neat. But anyways, I ran out of tethers, so I gotta head back. We might not actually even have enough tethers to go around the entire planet, unfortunately because compound does not seem to be a resource that likes this planet, I'm afraid. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't even think that we have any extra compound. So I could just kind of go out and let myself die, which would be a little bit disappointing, but uh, I guess I'll try and uh, kind of go around the surface here and stock up on as much extra oxygen as we can, right? And, and maybe we'll be able to uh, actually make it if we stock up enough. I don't know though. Another thing I do find just weird about the game mechanics in general is the fact that we're on a planet that has low gravity, 
but we're still taking the same amount of fall damage. So this planet is actually very, very deadly in that if we end up jumping fr like even off a tiny little rock, we can end up dead. But at least I ended up getting a bunch of resin and it did remind me that I do want to try and uh, see how far we can actually dig into the planet uh, before we entirely end up leaving this joint, right? All right, so we've got a couple extra tethers. That's all we've got is just up to like another full stack of tethers. Uh, and then also three stacks of oxygen. Hopefully that'll end up being enough. Uh, I don't really want to go on to any of this rocky terrain because of the amount of tethers it's wasting. But, you know, that's kind of just how it goes. And I, I want to try and make as straight a line as possible, uh, you know, while going out and exploring. I'm pretty surprised, though. I, I mean, I guess that's what this game considers barren. Uh, is the fact that there's no resources, we're out of tethers, there's no resources on the top of the planet. Like, it's all just underneath the surface, you know? Which, I, I, I'm sure that's all just on purpose anyways, but yeah. Uh, so, another thing, too, that I did mention in our episode, if you don't already know, folks, is uh, these extra slots that we have in our backpack on the top right and the top left, those actually will stay with you if you end up dying. So it's kind of a, okay, weird camera glitch. It's kind of a nice way of keeping uh, extra resources, you know? Now, I am noticing that there is all this copper and stuff around, so speaking of not being able to find any extra resources, well, here we go. We've got a couple extra ones right here, and I'm hoping that we can end up getting ourselves uh, all the way around the planet, hopefully. Ooh, we're out of power. Well, who cares? Let's just keep going then. Whoa. That is a very deep canyon. Is this something special? I don't know. You know what? This is pretty darn cool right here. So I, I really want to try and uh, get our tethers to come over to this spot. Okay, we just had the perfect amount of tethers to actually string it right back to the uh, first string. See, that's what I mean about that fall damage right there. We almost died. Um, but... Even though I said that we were going to go off world today, folks, we might not. We might actually be able to kind of uh, explore this planet a little bit more just because I'm noticing, well, there's this crazy spot over here, right? Now, power consumption is definitely a thing, so I'm going to grab some of this right here. Thankfully, this game is very, like, convenient and cost efficient. That's, that's kind of what I like about it on top of many, many other things, right? But just the fact that we can actually just gather these uh, resources from the environment, meaning that we don't have to entirely drain everything else. Now, there is some more copper over there. I wish we could get a couple more tethers going on down here, but I guess that's okay. Unless that's some tether uh, compound right over here. Is that what this is? No, it's just a cave. Okay. This is getting weird, dude. Is there actually anything down in this gigantic canyon here? Or is it just a big scary spot? Oh boy. Oh boy, these plants! No! Stupid plants! Dang it, dude! Oh, I figured that was gonna end up happening, and every time we respawn, we're underneath our ship for some dumb reason. Well, that kind of sucks. I guess I'm gonna head back over there, but if we end up running out of time for today's episode, well then, rip, we might not be able to fully explore it. Uh, and worst case, like, we'll explore as much as we can of that canyon today, just because I don't know whether or not there's going to actually be anything inside it. But if there is, that would be very interesting and very, very cool. Uh, and then if we don't end up having enough time for it today, then I'll probably just explore it off camera. And then maybe in the next episode, if there was something actually worthwhile, I'll definitely end up showing it to everybody. Oh, and just in case you're sitting there screaming at your computer screen for me to go and gather all these uh, research nodes and stuff that are around, I see them. It's just, remember, this planet doesn't actually have anything new for us, so we don't really need it. Oh, boy. Well, our death pile is down there, and there is some oxygen inside that cave, so I got to be very careful here, because even though the sliding is really, really cool, usually it gets you killed in this game. <laughs> uh, so I got to try and watch out for that stupid plant. Die, you dumb plant. No, 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 no. Don't fall on the plant again. Don't fall on the plant. Can we grab it? This stupid plant, like seriously, can we not grab our body? There we go, that's exactly what I want to do. Give me the oxygen and the energy. There we go, so let's grab more of this oxygen that was nearby, and let's seal this thing off forever so that it can never hurt anyone ever again. Um, 
I don't know whether or not, like, is this just a big, deep canyon that kind of shows us a bunch of caves? Or is there actually something worthwhile down here? Now, I do know, and this is something that's kind of cool here, folks. I do know that I think all of the planets actually have a special green resource at the center of them all. Uh, and this resource, as far as I know, you can't actually mine it or do anything with it. It's something that's going to come into play a little bit later in the game, as far as I know. So uh, maybe that's kind of what we could end up finding around here. Something else that would be very interesting to do if we ended up having enough power for it. Lots of resin in here, man, a lot. Is um, if we could, it would be great uh, if we could end up kind of like mining straight through to the other side of the planet. I think that would be really interesting. We're starting to get pretty low on our oxygen tank here, though. Um, lots of resin. Maybe that's what this was, was just a secret resin pit. Because, man, alive, like, there's so much resin in there. I'm just going to call it uh, call it in this cave here and say that that's all it's about, is just getting all of that resin, which would definitely be very useful for us, but not really something that we need, like, hardcore. Man, alive, this canyon sucks. We can't get out of here. Um, still a very cool discovery, to be sure. But otherwise, yeah, not not really um, not really as exciting as I was hoping it was going to be. Now, as soon as this compound ends up regenerating, that'll end up being really, really good. But at least we can end up using this canyon for a marker. You know, that's that's definitely, definitely something that we can end up doing. Oh, here's some more compound, and there's a weird resource. What is that? That's not... Just because it's a green resource, I think it's just a resource that we haven't seen uh, on the planet, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's something new. You know what I'm saying? So let's grab ourselves some extra tethers here, and I'm gonna yeah, try, and, try and set this up a little bit, because now that we actually have some compound, we can do a little bit more exploring, right? I think that spiky green resource is just a mineable lithium. Uh, as far as I know, that's what it is, so it's not really that exciting, right? Because it's not really any new resource. Oh, it's titanium! Never mind! <laughs> Okay, that's actually pretty darn good. Titanium's pretty rare. Uh, so, in fact, I don't know if we've ever seen a mineable titanium. Ew! But, uh, this is something that I did explain in another episode, and now we can actually talk about this. So, this, this rock right here that the titanium's on, we actually can't mine that. I think that's where, um, like, the uh, dynamite is actually supposed to come into play. Because I'm pretty sure dynamite we can actually use to blast this rock away. Uh, and then we could actually use that to kind of get uh, get that resource, right? Which definitely would love to get some of that titanium. But I'm probably going to have to do that off camera just because I am noticing we're getting very, very close to being on time here. Even with all the cuts I'm going to make in today's video. So let's, uh, let's go a little bit further out here. Uh, maybe I'll just kind of go up to the amount of tethers that we have. Whoops, there we go. And, yeah, so that, that's already it for our tethers, and then I guess I'm going to kind of do the rest of it off camera, because I, I'm on time right now. I actually have a previous engagement after this video where I have to go and pick my fiancé up. So, uh, I'm going to go do that, get things a little bit more prepared for the next episode, probably do a lot of, uh, like, a little bit of more of exploring off camera, kind of see if I can actually go all the way around the planet myself, and then just kind of show you the fruits of my labor, as it were, after uh, I end up actually getting all that done. But either way, thanks for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, share favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. So I don't want to say epic, everybody. Only